this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. In today's episode, I'm going to be joined by, there he is, I'm going to be joined by a Fizzy Elephant, so a very good morning to, to you. He is going to be helping us, hopefully, actually definitely, 100%, I'm going to put this down here, I'm going to touch wood. And I'm going to say that we are going to 100% finish our- Oh, it's an endermite! I haven't seen one in ages! Oh, no, don't, don't, don't get Barnaby. It's not going to get Barnaby, is it? No, it's not going to get Barnaby. Oh, it can be our friend! Oh, <laughs> our aggressive friend that bites our toes. <laughs> what I was going to say is we're going to get today's mini game finished today. And that is a promise. Basically because there's not very much else that we need to do. Because uh, William and I made such good progress in the, the last episode. You got off lucky, Pizzy. You're joining us for the, the finishing uh, touches episode. And we have a little endermite. You know what? I forgot endermite exists. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no, he's going after me! Oh, this isn't good. Oh uh, no, no! Barnaby, don't, don't go after him. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a little endermite. There we go. It's dead. Oh no. This is going to tell me off. Let me go and eat my food and get out of here because he's not going to be happy with me. Nom, 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 nom. Even though the endermite killed him, I know he's not going to be happy for me killing the endermite. He was going to get Barnaby, Fizzy! He was going to get Barnaby! It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> well, that was an exciting morning. I honestly, I forgot that they were even in the game. They come up so rarely, don't they? All right, then. Uh, today to the Love Guide, I'm adding, I'm adding uh, three people. I'm adding... Oh, God, they don't make it easy for me. I'm adding... Pumaz, Sparko, and Beer Mineben. Bear, oh, bear, bear minor Ben. <laughs> That's what it is. Pumas, Sparko, and bear minor Ben. So the reason I'm adding them is because they wrote Stampy Longhead in huge letters inside of Fortnite. And I don't know what your feelings are on Fortnite, but I have built in Fortnite, and I know writing something like this must have taken them a really, really, really long time. And it looks amazing. So thank you so much for doing that for me, guys, and welcome to my love garden. All right, then, let me go and uh, I'm going to have something to eat. I'll after my traumatic moment. I don't know where Fizzy is. I know he's really not going to be happy with me. I'm just scared about what he's going to do. Maybe you could build a, a nice memorial for the Endermite rather than taking out your anger. Oh no, I can see him. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely scared. He's just staring at me. It's fine, Fizzy. He was going to attack Barnaby. Okay, I'm going to go pick a dog. I'm going to go pick a dog. Right, let's have um, Benton. You can join us today. Uh, Barnaby, you can come and and sit down somewhere. Where are you, Barnaby? Barnaby? Barnaby! Barnaby! Okay, I guess Barnaby can join us as well today. He doesn't fancy having a day inside of the dog house. And leave me alone. It's fine, Fizzy. Look, I'm going to go this way around. I'm going to go this way around. I don't want to... I don't even want to, to, to pass him. I'm going to run this way around. No! Oh, no, you can't tell me you're Fizzy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I killed your pet. But your pet attacked me and killed you. Stop staring at me. It's the eyes. It's the little eyes. They're staring into my soul. Stop it, Fizzy. Stop. Stop staring into my soul. I don't like it. It's not polite to stare into someone else's soul. You should know that. <laughs> right, then. Let's go and get inside of the, the teleporter and to go and uh, arrive at the, the final end, shall we? The quicker we get this game uh, done, the, the better, in my opinion. All right. Press the button and off to the fun land. Okay, then I think I should have just about uh, arrived. So let's go and uh, I will fill you in with what we did in the last episode, just in case you uh, you didn't see it. I also just realized that um, Barnaby, I never told him to stand up. <laughs> he, like, I know he stood up, but that's just because I was getting attacked and he's a good boy and he protects me. But I never actually told him to stand up. So he's probably just sitting down inside of my bedroom. So sorry, Barnaby. I'll make it up to you. I promise. He's going to have a lazy day. Oh, he's going to wet the floor. No one's going to be there to take him out to the toilet. Oh, I'm going to have to tidy that up when I get home. Everything's going wrong today. But what hopefully isn't going to go wrong is this build. So it's called the GoPro game. Basically, it's like Ender Pearl Golf. There's going to be a big platform, which hopefully today will be up there in the, the sky made out of glass. Uh, the idea of the game is that there's going to be boats placed on top of the, the platform. You can see them through the glass. You go to, to here and I can see the ender pearls just flying through the sky. But yeah, basically you'll throw an ender pearl up like this. You'll try to make it land on a platform. Uh, if you get it close to, to one of the, the boats uh, you jump inside of it to get a point. Or if there's the other team's boats, you can break it away uh, and then basically that way uh, you're kind of getting rid of some of the, the boats that they could potentially get inside of. And oh! This actually might be beautiful. Look, see where I landed with this ender pearl? It's exactly where I meant to land because it's exactly, literally, where I need to start building up from. So I need to go 19 blocks high. So that's uh, three to there. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there we go. This is how tall it's going to be. It's actually not as tall as I expected. <laughs> like, I really bigged it up in the last episode. So, like, it's going to be so high in the sky. It's going to be incredible. But it's, like, shorter than that minigame. It's, it's still pretty high. I would still not like to, to fall and land anywhere other than the, the glass. So, yeah, these columns are going to go to here. Eventually, we're going to decorate them a little bit uh, more. Uh, but for now, right, let's go and start building in. So, basically, now we can copy the pattern that we have on the the floor underneath us so the column uh, is going to be concrete uh, but then pretty much the the rest on the the top here uh, is going to be made out of this uh, this glass and then we're going to use the the same uh, the same color scheme uh, that we did down below so we go uh, seven across in a line along here and then we can kind of go and start zigzagging in a little bit. So we go across by two. Uh, and I'm just kind of using the yellow for now, just so I don't have to put dirt and break it away. Uh, and then we go diagonal by three in this direction. Uh, and then hopefully, if I do this, we're going to link up with where Fizzy has built his column. Because now I go across by two like that. And then, ah! Oh! beautiful. Right, that looks good. You go round uh, in that direction, Fizzy. Uh, I'll go round uh, in this direction, and I guess uh, later on when we drop down, uh, we can go and build the, the rest of the, the columns up uh, again. So, uh, yeah, very simple. Go across by two, diagonal by three. It's a little bit more worrying when you're doing it with glass, because if you do it wrong, then you have to break away the glass, and you all know how much I hate breaking away the, the glass. So, fingers crossed, I'm not going to make any mistakes. That's going to be my plan. I mean, it should always be my plan, I guess, but my plan is to not make any mistakes for the entire video, and not need to smash a single pane of glass. That is going to be my challenge. It is a challenge which I am almost definitely going to, to fail, but hey, you might as well set yourself a goal. It's just my, my journey of self-improvement. So yeah, once again, we go across by three, and then it's two in this direction, and then the should should be back to being in line with there. And it looks good, actually. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've lined up perfectly. So it needs, it needs concrete in the, the middle. Yep, right about there. So there we go. There is the uh, the outside of the, the circle complete. And then once again, uh, we go and copy what we have uh, down below. Uh, and we go and do the, the, the purple glass to the middle. And then there's going to be a box in the middle, which needs to be, let me just count for my picture. One, two, three, four, five. So it needs to be five wide, the box in the middle. And if I'm going to make a mistake anywhere... That is going to be where I'm going to, to make a mistake. I might build build it out of dirt as a tester and then make sure I get it right and then build it out of dirt just because I don't want to, to fail my, my challenge. So let's just say if I do it, let's say one more in, I think. Then let's see if this is right. So we go one, two, three, four, five. And then the middle should be directly over the yellow one. No. So I think I need to go here and then break that one away. I think this should be the the beginning of the gap. So does that look right? I think that I mean this isn't the this isn't the scientific way to to do this, but I think this is right. So then uh, let's go uh, to an either direction here. So I think this basically should be where the the gap is, where all of this uh, this dirt is uh, is here. Well, actually, the gap will be one smaller because it will be um, glass around here. So let's just go and build it in like this. If this turns out to be wrong, I may just have to to break my wall and start smashing the glass. So this is going to be the only gap where you're going to be able to throw the ender pole in. So it's a smaller uh, kind of gap than the the platform that you're standing in down below. It just makes it more difficult. Everything in this game is meant to make it really difficult to to get the ender pearl to, to land where you want it to, to land. I like I like challenging mini games. If it's easy and everyone can just land <gasps> I heard some glass smash. We're, we're even. I killed your pet and you smashed my glass. We are now 100% even. That's the that's the way the rules work. <laughs> uh, yeah, and anyway, I think I did do this correctly. I have so far kept up with my challenge. So yeah, from there, you need to throw it up to, to land on the, the platforms here. And then the, the patterns on the, the top here, as I said, are going to be the same as down below. So it's going to be uh, diagonal purple going from uh, across there. Uh, and then all of this middle area is going to be filled in with, uh, with yellow. So let's go and just fill in the the purple bits first. I think that's the easiest way to do it. We fill in all of the uh, the purple lines and then just basically everything that is uh, is left uh, needs to, to be just filled in with the, the yellow and then we know it's all going to be absolutely correct. So in the middle here, I think it should be. And oh, I've just realized I'm not going to keep my rule. Actually, I could keep my rule if I make Fizzy do it, but I realize I have made a mistake. I've absolutely made a mistake. So uh, in keeping with the, the pattern, actually not in keeping with the pattern, but in addition to the pattern, uh, I am going to add a little bit of light blue, uh, which is going to be along these straight bits here, kind of just right in the, the middle of, uh, of these. There needs to be some light blue glass. So if I throw you 
some light blue glass fizzy. And then if you do it, then I've kept up with my promise and I haven't made it. Well, I've made the mistake, but I haven't broken any glass. So yeah, just about halfway across these straight lines here. If you add in the, the light blue glass and then do the, the same on all the other sides and then it's you smashing the, the glass and not me. But yeah, be careful because I am <laughs> standing right here. And then yeah, that's going to be pretty much this platform done. There's going to be a few little extra uh, deck. Well, a very small little extra decoration I'm going to be adding to the, the columns just to, to kind of keep it in with the, the same styling of the, the rest of things. But apart from that, it is a incredibly simple game. Basically, you could just build a big square in the sky out of glass and then get a bunch of boats and ender pearls and then you're done. That is literally all that you need to do. You don't need anything extra to keep score. You don't need any redstone. I mean, you could force some redstone in, but really it's not needed. And I know that there's a, a good chance that a lot more people will be more interested in the idea of building this game. I'm all... Break, break it away, Fizzy. I can't do it. I can't watch. I can't bear to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that always happens when, like, people are building in the, the same place that always ends up getting put in the, the wrong way. But look at this. We've done it so far. So, no, I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I broke my rule. I knew it was going to happen. I might as well just do it now. Right, we haven't left any gaps, have we? It seems... Uh, nope, it's pretty sort of sad. Every now and then it looks like I have left a gap, but it's just the, the way that the, the glass looks. This game looks cool, doesn't it? Even without adding in my extra decorations, it looks cool. So the good thing is, getting down is well, we did that perfectly synchronized. Yeah, getting down is much easier than, uh, than going back up again. So this is kind of what the game's gonna look like. Uh, it is kind of, um, a little bit dangling at the, the moment, just because uh, I haven't filled in the, the other column on that side there. So let me go and uh, fill in the column on this side. If you go and do the, the one that's missing over there, and then we're going to have a bit of a test to go. So one of the weird things about this game is I haven't fully designed what the, the rules of the, the game are going to, to be yet. Uh, I have a pretty good idea that it's going to be, you know, trying to land in the boat, trying to, to break away the, the other boats, but I don't know exactly uh, what the, the plan is, uh, is going to, to be. So we can kind of have ourselves a bit of a, of a test of game now and try and work it out how we want her to, to be. But first, uh, let me just add in the little decorations. And oh, oh, I'm supposed to, I don't really like blue concrete on me. Let me just go and add in like the glass. And then later on, I can change that to the, the concrete. I don't know, maybe if Fizzy does have some of the concrete, he can go and add this in. But basically, it's not a big deal. Uh, just halfway down here, roughly. I didn't count. So roughly, oh, ouchies. Uh, yeah, roughly halfway down, there's going to be uh, a <laughs> roughly halfway. That is not roughly halfway. That is very much so closer to the top. But basically, we're going to add some, some light blue concrete there. It's not a big deal. It does not affect the gameplay whatsoever. And that is exactly uh, what I want to, to test now. So the way I assumed the, the game would be played... And as I said, this might um, kind of end up changing at some point. But the way I assumed it would be is we'd both have about four boats each. We'd arrange them. And it's whoever can land in the, the most boats is going to be the, the winner. But if you're in range of the other person's boats, then you can also break it away uh, to make it harder for them. I think, do you think, actually, I don't think four would be enough. Because you could just do them completely far apart on each side. Let's, let's go, let's go crazy here. And stop me if I sound completely mad, Fizzy. Let's go crazy and let's do five boats rather than four boats. I know this is getting chaotic. I'm a wild cat. But what can I say? That's what my idea is. And oh, it actually reminded me of one other small detail that we have, uh, have yet to, to add in. And that's a way to get up. Getting down, as I said, is very, very easy because um, there's a big pit of water that you can just go and drop down. Uh, but in order to, to get up, uh, we're just going to add some ladders on the columns. I don't like these ladders. If if I could have it my way, we'd have these uh, these ladders just not existing. Uh, don't worry about adding in the, the decorations for, for now, Fizzy, just because it's going to need to break away the ladders. We will get all of that sorted uh, in the, the future. I just want to get the, the game tested. But yeah, there's ladders to make your way up. You could use an ender pearl to get up, but a much more reliable way would be to, to use a ladder. So Fizzy, do you want to come and, uh, and join me on the, the top? Because uh, there's kind of two parts to the, the game. One is where you choose to arrange all of your, your boats. And then the, the other part uh, is, uh, is obviously the, uh, the main part of the game, which is actually trying to land on the boat. So you can be... Oh, I gave you one of mine. But you can be Spruce, and uh, I'm going to, to be Birch. And uh, yeah, we can go and spread them around. And uh, yeah, choose carefully where you want to, to place them. So I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to do this one right by the edge over here. Uh, just to, to make it so Fizzy's hopefully going to fall off. I'll do one right near the, the middle. Oh yeah, the only rule is they can't be overhanging the middle. So you can do them right on the edge, but they can't be overhanging. So I might have to like steer this one a little bit away just to be tricky. And then, ah, this one I'm going to do right between two of, uh, of Fizzy's ones uh, as well. And then I'm going to do this one. Um, oh, Fizzy's doing all right. You're going to do that? I'm going to do one here. We're going to have a giant group of them here. <laughs> 
<laughs> if someone lands like here, they can destroy away loads of them and just sit in. I think you got one more of my boats than this. You've already thrown it to me. How many have I put down? One, two, three. Yeah, I think you got one of my birch boats, which I accidentally uh, gave to you, Fizzy. Or have I put them all down? No, no, you do. Do you have it? Yeah, you do. Can you pass that to, to me? And no, I get to choose where I want it placed, actually, Fizzy. And I think I want this boat to be here. Right, okay, let's jump down and let's go and begin the, the game of Ender Pearl uh, Golf. So, yeah, basically, we take turns. Every time you land it in a boat, you get a, a point. So uh, if you drop down into the drop down through the the middle fizzy, you are trying to land in the the birch boats, and I am trying to land in the the spruce boat. So if you go first, seen as you're in the the middle, uh, and uh, and go first, and uh, I guess do we have a score? I, do we keep going? Let's say we both get. See, this is this is where me not having come up with the rules comes into play. Let's say we have five throws each. I think might be a nice way to, to do it. I don't know if it could be a way you go until all of the boats are gone. Yeah, I guess what we do is we just have five enderpearls. Like if, if, if everyone just starts off with five enderpearls, which is conveniently how many I have uh, already, let's just say that that's how it works. So you're trying to land in the, the birch ones. Uh, I don't think he's actually near, but if you can reach any of the spruce ones without moving, you can break them. So I think he's on a, a spruce one at the moment, so he can punch that away. And so that basically stops me from being able to get that one. And can he reach that one? I don't think he can. Oh, no, he can. No, that's two of the boats gone already, but he can't reach any of the ones over there. So you can drop back down, Fizzy, and I can go first. So I wonder if the person who goes first should get less goes. And I'm not just saying that now because of what just happened. But obviously there's a big advantage for who goes first. Or maybe there could be like another smaller mini game to decide who gets to go first. That could be an option. Anyway, let me see if I can get close to that big group because that might be my my only chance of redeeming myself. And I, re I promise you I have not practiced at this at all. I'm absolutely awful uh, with throwing these ender poles. If you saw the last episode of me playing around there, you will absolutely believe that. Oh, was oh, that good? Is that good? Please land on top. Oh, yes. I let it all. It's game time. Right, so I want to break away the birch one, break away that birch one, and then I can sit in you, and I can sit in a. Oh no! Oh no! I can't, I can't reach the other one! <laughs> when I jumped out the boat, I was really far away. Right, so I guess that I should probably break away this boat because I've already sat in it. So that's one point to me. And I broke away two of the the birch boats uh, as well, uh, which um uh, which is uh, which is good. Oh no, yeah, that is good. That is good. Okay, right. Let me go and drop down. <laughs> oh, dudes! Oh, you found another pair. Right. Enjoy trying to end a pearl while getting knocked around by an endermite fizzy. That's gonna be a, a fun. <laughs> <laughs> a fun challenge for for you. Uh, so right then, uh, Fizzy needs to to try and land in the the birch boats. There are there's still three left uh, for him to to try and go for. Uh, there's the one right on the the very edge over there. Uh, there's the one kind of which is close to the other one there, which is the last one I placed down. And then there's uh, this one down here as well. So there uh, are Fizzy's three targets that he can go for. Where is, has he thrown? Oh, the end of pearls up. The end of pearl is up. Which one? I think he's aiming for that one, which is good because he could get rid of his own one. But oh no! It's fallen straight back down the middle. Disaster! That was a disaster for Fizzy. <laughs> I wonder whether the the endermite nibbling at his kneecaps was a uh, was a uh, to, to blame for for that one. Right, I might go for. I'm gonna go for right in the middle of those two. There is the the plan. So let's aim a uh, a little bit forward to about here. Does that look okay? It's really laggy in my lovely world and like the the ender pearl like no pun intended teleports around while it's teleporting you and oh where am I? Where am I? Oh, this is good. This is good. So I want to break away the birch one. I'm so scared to break away the wrong one. And then sit in the, the spruce one, which means that is two points uh, for, for me. Uh, I break this one away because I've already scored the, the point in it. Uh, but Fizzy does have two birch boats left. So he does have the, the chance to, to go and try and do the, the comeback. And he looks like he's lined up uh, already. You can throw uh, whenever you're ready as well. And I have uh, three throws left. So I think... What I'm going to do is, as I said, we're continually changing the, the rules. This is uh, this is like as much part of designing the game as actually building it. So what I think I might say is that you have infinite enderpearls. Well, let's not say infinite because there's a limit to the amount of enderpearls I can get. Oh, that's bad luck for busy there. But let's just say you have as many enderpearls as you want, but you just go until all of the, the boats have gone. And you just kind of want them to be broken away because you landed in them rather than the, the other person. I think that's going to be the, the better way to, to go. What do you think, Fizzy? 
I think Fizzy just wants to get inside one of the boats, to be honest. Right, so there's one spruce boat left to, to go for. So if I get in that... That's going to be pretty much game over. That's You can't do that. You can't do that, Fizzy. That That's against... New rule! New rule, Fizzy! No elephants allowed in the throwing area when it's not the elephant's turn. I'm just going to throw... No! Oh, no, I poked on the... Anthony. That doesn't count. I'm going again. I'm throwing it from the outside. That doesn't count. That wasn't my go. I'm going to throw it from here. <laughs> oh, I know Fizzy's going to be trying to, to throw his as well. New rule. No elephants allowed to play the game at all. That's my new rule. Oh, that actually might be landable. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Let me throw another ender pearl. Let's throw it to here. And I got in the boat. I win. <laughs> oh, dear. So I think we've pretty much been able to, to work out uh, what is going to be the, the most fun way to, to play that game. Even from that testing. Oh, no, look at that. That was beautiful, Fizzy. Why Why didn't you do that in your first round? <laughs> why did... Because that was like the hardest one for him to go for right on the edge. And he just nailed that. Nice job, Fizzy. So right then, now we have the, the rules. We're going to be joined here with William and Polly uh, as well in the next episode. And we're going to have our first go throw tournament. And maybe we could even try and do some sort of 2v2 variant of the, the game as well to see if that will be uh, any fun. So yeah, that is going to be the, the plan. Link in the description as always to the episode when it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!